आई एस टी वी प्रेजेंट्स इन एसोसिएशन विद धनमंजूरी कम्युनिटी कॉलेज दी एम यूनिवर्सिटी इम्फा लॉन्सिंग सीरीज ऑफ एजुकेशनल प्रोग्राम रिकॉर्डेड ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर अंडर ग्रेजुएट एंड पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट्स बाय टीचर्स फ्रॉम वेरियस कॉलेज एंड यूनिवर्सिटीज ड्यूरिंग दिस कोविड नाइन्टीन लॉकडाउन एवरी डे ऑन आई एस टी वी नॉन इन एट पी एम From 24th May 2020 onwards, what's for that? Only on IHTV Nongin. Hello, everybody. I am Dr. Sorokhaibam Ibechawi Debi. I am a lecturer at Petrugi College, Ukru, teaching environmental science. Today, I'm going to give a lecture on global warming or the greenhouse effect, which is the part of the syllabus for general foundation course for the paper for the fourth semester students. Today, let's discuss about the global warming and its effect. As we all know that the whole globe is very much aware of the global warming, its increasing temperature, and the effect that is caused by the increasing temperature. According to the IPCC report recently, the rise in temperature around the globe is 0.2 degree centigrade for the decade 2006 to 2012. So, uh, this increase in temperature may be compounded in the upcoming decades also. So, it is estimated that in the coming century there will be a rise of 2 degree centigrade on the Earth's surface. We almost considered about the negative impacts of global warming in the present scenario but there are also merits for the global warming germination of plants nestlings of birds then reproduction of microorganisms then reproduction of various animals etc they need a specific favorable temperature for their propagation but with increase in this temperature many negative impacts are experienced around the globe so today let's discuss about the details on how the temperature increase on earth and its effect and how we can control global warming or greenhouse effect is defined as the progressive warming up of the earth's surface due to blanketing effect of man-made carbon dioxide yes the greenhouse effect is mainly uh, caused by the carbon dioxide but besides carbon dioxide there are few more gases which is responsible for the global warming so inclusive of all these gases the definition of greenhouse uh, effect or global warming is extended as the excessive presence of those gas which block in the infrared radiation from the surface to the atmosphere leading to an increase in temperature which in turn would make life difficult on earth so after understanding this definition first let's try to understand why the global warming is also known as the greenhouse effect so first let's try to understand the function of a greenhouse uh, and let's compare the phenomenon of a greenhouse to the earth and its atmosphere so a greenhouse is a transparent glass house where plants are grown luxuriantly under controlled temperature and humidity. Here, every plant needs sunlight for photosynthesis. Before coming in details to the working phenomenon of greenhouse, let's first understand the components of a sunlight. So the components of sunlight reaching earth includes UV rays, then visible light, visible light and infrared rays. Here, uh, this the sunlight uh, this thing raising the earth comprises of three components. One is the UV rays, then visible light and the infrared. Most of the UV rays are reflected back from the atmosphere by the ozone layer but the two light that is the visible uh, light and infrared ray they reach to the earth surface so let's come here 
the two light that is the visible light and infrared ray penetrate the glass panel of the greenhouse and after penetrating this uh, this thing after penetrating the light has been absorbed by the greenhouse the incoming radiation comes in the form of sword web which have high energy but after absorbing within the greenhouse it is reflected back uh, uh, in the form of short web which have lower energy so the lower energy that is longer web length radiation means they cannot penetrate outside the atmosphere so the glass panel acts as an opaque body for the greenhouse and this reflected radiation is again re-reflected within this greenhouse so there is a longer exposure of the heat wave so there is rise in temperature as long as the temperature is maintained for some favorable condition for the luxuriant growth of the plant the plant will grow luxuriantly and as we increase this temperature within the house the plant will wilt and and ultimately will die so just to control this situation ventilators are provided at the greenhouse so that the excess heat and humidity were released through the ventilators so this is the working phenomena of a greenhouse so let's take this phenomena in compare with that of the earth so here is the sun this is our earth and it is earth's atmosphere as i have already mentioned the sunlight uh, this thing reaching the earth's atmosphere is of three types uv rays visible light and the infrared rays so the uv rays is reflected by the ozone layer so and the visible light and infrared radiation they directly reach the earth surface and absorb the visible light is absorbed by the earth surface and it does not reflect it back infrared radiation after reaching the earth as it, it, it is incorporated with heat web i are always uh, associated with heat and it is also known as heat radiation so this heat radiation which is in the form of short web they were absorbed by the earth surface and is reflected back to the atmosphere converting the short web into longer wavelength uh, infrared uh, this thing radiation this reflected infrared has lower energy and it has the tendency of longer exposure in the atmosphere so in presence of uh, this thing gas molecules like carbon dioxide methane cfc's the reflected uh, infrared radiation is blocked by these molecules and is it is again re-reflected back on the earth surface and thereby there will be an increase in of temperature in the atmosphere but some of the infrared radiation after reflecting it escapes through the atmosphere into the space at some point so this point is known as the atmospheric window as long as we maintain the maximum number of atmospheric window the temperature of the atmosphere will reduce but nowadays with urbanization and industrialization the number of these gases will increases and it blocks the atmospheric window and hence there is uh, a condition of rising temperature in the atmosphere occurs so likewise this the working phenomenon of earth's atmosphere and the uh, this thing uh, glass house is similar and these gas molecules acts as an opaque body like that of the glass panel of the greenhouse so these are the working phenomenon of a uh, global warming and that is why global warming is known as the uh, greenhouse effect so there are many gases which is responsible uh, for creating global warming so major gases responsible for global warming here this glass gases include carbon dioxide then methane 
three C abscess, chlorofluorocarbons, then ozone, nitrous oxide, N2O, next H2O, etc. So here carbon dioxide contribute 50 percent of the global warming, methane contribute 19 percent, C abscess 17 percent, ozone 8 percent, nitrous oxide 4 person and H2O contributes global warming by 2 person. From here we know that carbon dioxide is the gas which is responsible for the maximum uh, temperature rise around the globe. So these gases were released from release release from automobile automobile exhaust decaying plants from industries from industry then incomplete combustion of fossil fuel industrial smokes then from release of halons and halogenated gas from the operation and maintenance of propellants and coolants uh, extinguishers etc so with increase in concentration of these gases various impacts will occur in our globe uh, it will give effects ill effects to the climate agriculture and in the sea level and in the biota also now let's further discuss about the impacts caused by these gases impacts of global warming or greenhouse gases first one will be climatic change so now let's discuss the impacts of global warming the previous gases that i have discussed is also known as the greenhouse gases so the first impact will be on climatic change. When we increase the concentration of uh, carbon dioxide or any other greenhouse gases, there will be an extremity in the uh, uh, atmospheric temperature. There will be fluctuation in the pre in precipitation. It means that there will be untimed rainfall for agricultural fields. There will be maximum rainfall in some area causing flood and in another area it will cause drought uh, having scanty rainfall etc and the seasonal there will also be a, some seasonal variation uh, it might be longer summer period and shorter uh, winter period not only this there will be uh, this thing uh, severe storms also uh, when we increase the global earth temperature so next will be in the oceans and seas rise in sea level so next impact is on ocean. When we increase the atmospheric temperature, automatically the polar ice caps will melt. So there will be rise in the sea level. So if we, say suppose if we increase the temperature from one degree centigrade to five degree centigrade, the ice deposits around the globe in the ice caves or glaciers in the polar region will totally disappear when the earth's ice deposits totally melt down then there will be a rise of 200 feet 200 feet to the present sea level so a little rise of 50 centimeter to 100 centimeter it causes flood to the low-lying areas like Bangladesh and West Bengal. But when we increase the temperature by uh, this degree and the sea level is increased by 200 feet above the present sea level, all the low-lying areas like Venice, Bangkok will be inundated and will lie under water. So most of the scientists are expecting to reduce uh, the emission of the greenhouse effect so that we can save the ice deposits around the uh, distinct globe. Next is impact on 
एग्रीकल्चर इम्पैक्ट ऑन एग्रीकल्चर ये कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज अ फूड फॉर प्लांट एक्सेस कंजम्पन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड बाय द प्लांट्स विल लीड टू रिडक्शन इन द न्यूट्रिय कंटेंट्स लाइक प्रोटीन्स एंड इट विल मेक द फ्रूट एट्रैक्टिव एंड प्रॉन टू द दिस थिंग इंसेक्ट्स एंड पेस्टिसाइड्स अब अब ऑल there will with increase in the temperature there might be shifting of the agricultural land towards the polar region and we, uh, not only this the rising temperature interferes the germination of plants and changes various life cycles of the plants various soil microorganisms useful soil microorganisms will also disappear as we increase the temperature so next impact will be impact on biota the rising temperature of the globe with a uh, high concentration of the carbon dioxide gives a limiting factor to various forested vegetation and the forested vegetation were replaced by vegetations like scrubs and other plantations so thereby uh, resulting in desertification around the tropical region and not only this you know this thing there will be negative nestlings uh, of the birds and uh, this thing the population of bacterial borne diseases like malaria and dengue will increase as we increase the atmospheric temperature so these are the impacts of the global warming just to reduce the uh, these impacts of the global warming certain measures have has to be taken up control measures so just to reduce the emission of global warming certain certain control measures are taken up the first will be decreasing the consumption of fossil fuel next is replacement of non renewable energy source by renewable energy source like biogas biomass solar energy etc this non renewable energy under this non renewable energy it includes uh, this thing petroleum products then various uh, this thing mineral deposits etc this could be replaced by renewable energy like biogas biomass energy solar energy wind energy geothermal energy so many renewable energy sources are there next is to increase the area of carbon dioxide sink by afforestation by afforestation carbon dioxide sink it is also known as the vegetation mass of vegetation so just to increase a uh, greenery area of greenery by afforestation afforestation means plantation of trees next to enforce no driving the once a week this is very much compulsory uh, to reduce the automobile exhaust number 5 restriction on the emission of co2 and cfcs from automobiles and industries next number 6 cutting down of trees and forests fire should be 
ban. So these are the control measures which we could take up from here, the ultimate measures to control the excessive release of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas is greening our landscape. So plant more trees so that we can contribute a little part to our globe in reducing the impacts of greenhouse gases. So thank you. ISTV presents in association with Dhanamanjuri Community College DM University Impha launching a series of educational programs recorded online classes for undergraduate and postgraduate students by teachers from various colleges and universities during this covid-19 lockdown every day on ISTV Nongin 8 pm from 24th May 2020 onwards, what's for that? Only on IHTV Nongin. <laughs>